Now, I remember years ago <laughs> when David Hay and Tyson Fury were meant to fight one another. They was actually meant to fight each other twice. First time, I forgot the reason why David Hay pulled out, but I'm sure the second time was for the cut. Same, sort of similar cut to Tyson Fury. Um, now, at the time, I remember Tyson Fury speaking with IFL TV. He was going absolutely mad, basically saying, look, David Hay needs to compensate me for my loss of earnings. Uh, I've had, obviously, sparring partners. I've had nutritionists in camp. I've had psychologists in camp. He's had all these different t types of people in that need to be paid, and obviously, fight day or fight night isn't coming. So... It's going absolutely mad at like David Hay. And it's just funny how time and life works because now we're in that situation where it's alleged that Tyson Fury has apparently uh, made a hoax video, sort of cut himself in sparring, um, and now the fight has been postponed or whatever's going to happen, I don't know. But it's a bit weird time. And if you look at sort of what happened with um, Tyson Fury and Ngannou, Tyson Fury did not look sharp at all. He looked actually terrible. Um, he got and obviously knocked him down. People were saying about his punch resistance guy, and he obviously had three fights against Deontay Wilder, who's obviously a killer. He's got a m massive right hand, and it didn't look like Tyson Fury had even been in in training camp, you know. And it, it, I'm just thinking all these years where he's obviously been drinking beer, he's having crisps, he's hasn't been getting his nutrition to optimal elite level, like probably like someone like AJ has. Uh, is everything sort of catching up with him now? You know what I mean? Is that cut real? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether the cut's real or not. All I know is the fight's postponed, but if you look at sort of the build-up heading into the Usyk fight, a lot of people were saying that Fury was going to drop out, drop out of the fight, cancel to get the fight cancelled. The sense they were saying he was going to call off the fight, he was going to get drop off the fight, he's going to get cancelled, whatever. That's what people were saying after the Ngannou defeat. And it's funny because... Uh, John Fury was doing all these interviews and lead up to Usyk's fight saying Fury isn't ready. He's basically hinting like uh, Sugar Hill hasn't got him ready, Sugar Hill hasn't got him prepared, you know, he's in, he's in uh, training camp, he doesn't look good, he doesn't look sharp. And every time Fury or John Fury comes out and says stuff like that, it's sort of, you sort of think, oh, what's going to happen now? Like, is he just saying this to just sort of um, make it easier to digest Fury's fight. So Fury does lose to use a keeping like, oh, I told you, it's all Sugar Hill's fault, it's all this fault, it's that fault. But now, um, yeah, it's been it's been called off. So I don't know what's going to happen from here. Whether, whether the fight will go on, I don't know. People are saying about Fury retiring. Now, I hope it does happen. We need an undisputed fight. The last undisputed um, heavyweight fight was years ago. Apparently it was around 25 years ago or something like that. So we need another fight. Um, but I guess now we look forward to AJ and Garnu and we see what happens.